Football is played all over the world, including here in Barcelona. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. The home team squares off against Franklin. Dropping back the pass on first down. Going for the deep man. It's caught. Pearson pulls him down at the 30. So they pick up a first down and a lot. The home team come out in a dime package. With the carry. Nice play for him. Gets rid of it. Steps up. He has it. Good one. Is the guy who's there to bring him down. James pulls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. Time. To the end zone. He's got it. Watch this play. He's able to find a hole in the defense and he gets into the end zone. Now that's an example of how to use your personnel in the red zone and how to create mismatches. The home team come out in a 4-3. Drops back. Closing in. Down he goes. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the best in the league. Under pressure. He just kept dropping back and dropping back. I, yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking on that one. The home been. team come out in the bunch formation. With the pass, leap from the wide receiver. Hamilton records the tackle at the 20-yard line. So they're inside the 20, need to get a touchdown. Dropping back a pass on first down. Throws it, and it's caught. He's taken down at the nine. Four-man front. In this direction. And he's in for the score. They didn't waste any time getting that into the end zone on the first rushing attempt for them. Winning at the line is come out in the bunch formation. Bring it up, bring it up. With the pass, and he hits his target. Hanson makes the tackle at the 45. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Gets the pass off, caught by the receiver on the screen. Here's no ball. Pearson makes the stop at the 28-yard line. He hands it off, setting up play action with the pass. Jumps up, he has it. Number 58 is there for the tackle. The home team come out in a dime package. Hands it off to the back, keeps his feet moving. Fumble. The Galaxy grab the live ball. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. Looking for the goal line. Fakes the handle. Rolling out to his right. On the move. He's got it. Touchdown, Galaxy. And here's what happened. The one thing that makes this play work is a fake to the back. And then with that, it gets a receiver that half step he needs to make the catch. Gives the ball off. Fakes the handle. Stepping up with the throw. And it's complete. Brown is there on the stop. And the 48 yard line comes out in a 4 3. It's a blitz. Throwing. It's the receiver with room to run. Off and run. The 10. Touchdown. Nobody touches him after he catches the screen pass. And it's six points. Line up in a 4-3. They're coming with the blitz. Throws it, running with a lot of room in front. The 40, the 30. He's finally brought down at the 24. Well, you talk about a defense breaking down. Here they give him enough time to get the long pass off. Team with a four-man front, going to the air on first down. With the pass, right on target to the wide receiver. Joyce makes the stop at the six. A little misdirection. Back breaking free, and they're in. Touchdown. The Galaxy line up in a 4 3. Dropping back to pass on first down with the pass right to the back. 
Holmes is there for the tackle at the 39. Number one is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. Pressure coming on the run. And he hits his target. Steele makes the play at the 31. The defense is the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and the first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. Eckford comes out with seven in the secondary. With the pass, they're going to spot this one at the six. He found the ball carrier to make it. Throws one up in the end zone. Touchdown, home team. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. So they'll touch him down at the 20 yard line. on the 20. They got a touchdown out of it. Drops back. Under pressure. He's going to run it. And he's knocked out of bounds at the nine yard line. Right here is how he can hurt. Begins with a four man front. Hand it off. Number 50 brings him down at the one yard line. He'll keep it and he'll score. Touchdown. Touchdown. Home team come out in a 4 3 on the carry. Fumble, loose ball. The home team grab the live ball. He was able to rip that one away from the ball carry. Well, he might challenge this one, and sure enough, it'll be reviewed. The call in the field is questionable. They might decide that they made an incorrect call and reverse it. I thought he was down, and then the ball popped loose, but it's difficult to tell from this angle. No fumble occurred. And that challenge was a good decision as the call is overturned. On the carry. Pressure coming. He gets there and pulls him down from behind. The home team recover. He coughs it up on the sack. And the thing is, the Galaxy with a four-man front. Throwing. Right on target to the wide receiver. Hamilton is there for the tackle. At the 24-yard line. Right. Comes out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Can't get him from behind. Number 41 is there on the stop. He just overran the play. Watch it. They'll make this a two-possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. Swings this pass to his running back out on the right side. It's going to be spotted at the seven. And that tackle gives him three in the game. They get the this will be a 25-yard field goal attempt. The field goal attempt is good. And that field goal gives them a double-digit lead up by 10 points. One man in the backfield. Throws it. Picked off. It's intercepted. Goodwin comes up with a big play for the defense. Finally, in a matchup, uh, the Barcelona Dragons finally get a win. They finally get a win after, what, seven, eight weeks? They finally get this win. They go. The final score was 31-21, and all these guys, just the defense played great at the end of the game here. Ortega, 163 yards, one touchdown, 55 completion percentage. Wasn't a bad game, 93 Passer rating, Andy Hall, really picking up the slack after he got injured. 140 passer rating, probably one of the highest passer ratings we've ever seen. One TD, 59 yards, only three or five completions, so wouldn't even be technically a perfect passer rating. 
John Young doing his thing, man. He was struggling a lot. And he got 73 yards and a touchdown. He finally gets a little bit of traction this season. Uh, Ortega did get a rushing touchdown, so they gave him two. And um, John Young, <laughs> leading receiver, five receptions. Uh, Wayne Wilson, Rocco Fannin with only two receptions, but they were two really good ones. Price got two touchdowns of the game uh, on the receiving end. And the ball was spread out pretty well. We got our player of the game, Cedric Goodwin. He got four tackles and one INT. I believe he got a forced fumble as well. So he is our player of the game. Let's turn it to the Frankfurt Galaxy. Dimitri Small, he played pretty well, man. 204 yards, two touchdowns, an INT at the end. 102 rating, 12 of 21, 57 completion. He got sacked three times, and that's why the defense was really prevailing on those drives. Jamison Jean Baptiste played almost every position. 10 attempts, one touchdown on the run, 47 yards, five receptions, one touchdown on the receiving end. Uh, Rocco Oldham. He got two receptions for a goal line touchdown. Cedric James, he was a he was a good, great player on some of these drives with two receptions, 50 yards. Marco Smith was a great player, but they just couldn't get it going. No sacks for the defense, no ints for the defense. They just couldn't get it done against the Barcelona offense, who finally gets it going. They scored 31, and they get the win. So congratulations to the Dragons on winning their very first game of the season. So with that win, the Barcelona Dragons are now 1-5. And, and they are officially on the board. So congratulations to the Dragons. It is week 7, so we still got a lot more games to go. But the most anticipated game is probably going to be Cologne versus Amsterdam. That's basically the battle for first place there. But we're going to go into a different route with... The Monarchs versus the uh, Sea Devils. Sea Devils are are also one in four. They only have one win this season, so they try to they're gonna try to pick it up this uh, season with a home win against London. So I'll see you guys in that next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.